Hi everyone, before we go right into the preview, I do have to apologize in advance for the audio quality. Seems that there were some technical issues on my side in which the audio was skipping on my end, so I'm letting you know ahead and that everything else is fine. So alright, let's go into the show. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Kickstarter Spotlight interview, where I take a quick look at games on Kickstarter. This is Ferdinand, but you may know me as the Cardboard Stacker. And today's guest is David Gerard, head of Junk Spirit Games, which recently released their co-op fantasy adventure game, By the Order of the Queen. And they have a new game on the way. So David is going to tell us all about it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we, um, we're we looking forward to kind of bringing it out. Um, we It's a it's kind of a remake of a game uh, about seven, from about seven years ago that was simply called Crows. And now we've um, we've brought new strategic elements to the game and obviously uh, done a better uh, job of uh, bringing awesome art and um, graphic design to the game as well. So we're kind of looking forward to just kind of bringing it back out so that it can be uh, all it can be. Oh, cool. You know what? The thing I just realized that I thought that I do have the Crows game and I just made the coincidence. I thought it was going to be a coincidence of the name. <laughs> uh. No, no, absolutely. It was, so yeah, it was, um, you know, seven years ago, Tyler Sigmund essentially, um, you know, before he created Darkest Dungeon, uh, if you're familiar with that game on PC, um, and, and you know, what, what would that be? PC Steam, PS4, and uh, iOS. Um, Darkest Dungeon is an incredibly um, popular game. So before he made that game, he um, he made Crows. And he made a number of, uh, he has a number of published games, um, but Crows was handled by a company that um, went bankrupt a few years ago, and he basically just kind of was, you know, I was just happened to be Johnny on the spot in the room at the time that he was talking about how he was kind of sad that his game was no longer in, in publication, and that he'd like to get it published again one day and get it back out there, and um, and so I, I, you know, I was like, oh wait, stop, let me let me see this game, and uh, he showed me the game, and and I was really impressed with just kind of the classic feel of it. It's a you know tile placement game that plays you know two to four players. Um, it's a it's a real kind of classic Carcassonne like game, but it's got a really cool twist on it. And I thought that um, you know we can kind of bring in some new gameplay elements um, and you know essentially up the strategy of the game a little bit, and uh, it, it would be a good one. So yeah, it's essentially um, we're saying republication or like a you know a re implementation of it. Um, there's not a lot of games out there that have been printed by two different companies, um, but the previous company is no longer a thing. So we just kind of uh, were able to you know grab the 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 IP from him, and he was he was happy to work with us and, and remake the game. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at the box art. I mean, I really like the art too. So. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, Justin Hillgrove, he's uh, been doing art for about uh, 13 years, um, maybe probably a little bit more, but professionally for 13 years. And um, you know, he's great, and it's it's great to work with him. He everything he puts out is very kind of whimsical and and um, and uh, accessible to, you know, all ages, but we wanted to, you know, with this one, we put a little bit more of a darker theme on it. So it's, uh, it's working out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I do like this, like macabre, like kind of like very dark style of it. Totally. This, yeah. Like, uh, it's like, you know, a little, a lot of, a lot of black and a lot of, like the red in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. With, uh, Justin had like a period of time where he was doing a uh, number of pieces in this like black, white, and red series. And he has, he had a lot of, um, good pieces, um, from that time, I don't know how long the period was, but he did a lot of like um, horror, um, you know, he did a lot of Stephen King stuff like that, and a lot of Ed, Edgar Allan Poe stuff. And so when we showed the art pieces that um, that um, you know, I was trying to show the pieces to Tyler to show him what the crows would likely look like with Justin's art style, and I I don't know how it came about. Um, but the kind of decision was made as we were talking about the art that um, you know what it what if we had Justin do just a simple the simple color palette of black white and red and we just kept the whole game that way. In fact, um, if you look at the cover um, that we've been showing around, the Junk Spirit Games logo doesn't even have the green on it. We actually pulled the green out of the <laughs> yeah, right? I noticed and that. so we just <laughs> as a way to kind of like keep everything that way. Everything in the game, you know, the, including the box and the rule book and everything, will only be black, white, and red. And then there are the four colors of the player colors, but that will be the only time that any other color is used in in, in that in the whole yeah. game. I remember playing the the game of crows. It's uh, it's well, it's it's still about crows and stuff. And you're, I think you're getting junk and diamonds and things and like the kind of that stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. In the original game, um, everybody um was essentially not really playing anything. They weren't like an an, an entity. Um, and what you do is you would 
you know you would draw a tile you would then put that tile somewhere on the board and then you would put your colored shiny object somewhere and then all the oh yeah yeah right all <laughs> the crows would then flock to the shiny object so uh, you don't you don't control the crows you just control what you, uh, you want to give to the crows i think right yeah exactly it was kind of a thing where you're trying to entice the crows to come to you and then you would get points so we we kind of created a um a more cohesive theme for that where um you know in in our game you were playing essentially a hermit mage in our Tessendor universe that we created from Bayer the Queen and um and the mages use these mana totems to um to bring the crows in to entice them in because they're a shiny shiny object and the crows are going through a once in a lifetime moment where they're actually like kind of giving off mana and you can collect the mana in mana stones and then you can use that mana to basically just you know uh, essentially they, they you know it's a it's a it's a swap for points. You you can then gain points uh, in in form of mana stones to win the game. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. And there's it makes it so that um, in the game in the core game there was a thing where they were called special tokens that you would get if you played your your special sorry your shiny object into a specific spot. But now we've essentially changed them into spells. But then um, it wasn't just a name swap though. We actually changed. We only kept one of the original spells and or. You know, special items in the game or special tokens in the game, and we created all new um, spells that would basically um, make the game a little bit more swingy through the spells and make the spells more meaningful and more powerful. Yeah, cool. Uh. Which uh, which obviously adds to the strategy as well. So, mm -hmm. all right. So I guess the most important question is going to be when is it going to be on Kickstarter? Oh yeah. So we're doing um, September twenty fifth, um, which uh, you know. We're not. We're you know, shortly there. We're you know, sh sh it's gonna be soon. I mean, um, so yeah, September twenty fifth, probably like um, six to eight uh, a.m. in the morning on PST. Um, we'll we'll launch it and everything like that. Right now, we do have the preview up. If you kind of follow us on, um, if you follow Junk Spirit Games on on Twitter or Facebook, we do have a link there that shows you. You know, you can actually look at the preview page right now and see what we're kind of offering. Um, but we're still kind of, you know, doing some of the late stuff as the Kickstarter is coming. Uh, we, ha we we are creating our video tonight. Um, I'll be doing my voiceover work for it. And then um, and then also um, we have some other things we're going to kind of show you about what we want to do for a deluxe version of the game as well. Cool, cool. All right. So looks like that's about time so <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah so that's i mean this sounds great i mean the game looks great so far and um i mean i remember i still have my copy of crows with totally. me yeah so i'm totally I'm so ex i'm excited with this little new revamp of the game yep yep it'll be fun okay. so that's going to be out again on september 25th right okay yep. and yep. you can also find more information on the website junksgames.com all right yeah so, uh anything else you'd like to add no, I think I think we're good. Um, you know, the 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 team that I've been working with has been we. You know, this is our third game, and we're looking forward to, to bringing it back out there. I think the reception that that people have been giving us for kind of what we're trying to do, make these family friendly strategic games, has been something that has um, has resonated well with everybody. And so the encouragement that we've been getting from the community has been awesome. And so we're gonna keep going, for sure. Okay, all right. Thanks, David, for coming on. Yeah, no problem, man. Thank you. All right, and as I sign off, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my website of www.thecarbridgestacker.com. Until next time, remember to keep on stacking games. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos on boarding car games. This is the Carbridge Stacker and remember to keep on stacking games.